I am going to show you how to publish a book on Amazon Kindle, which is a tool that I use to distribute a lot of work. Now, I've been doing this work for quite a while, so it's a little bit more familiar for me, but if you just watch this video, you are going to see. These are, these are three books that I have published over the past couple of days. This one is currently in review. I, started, I think I published this one on Friday, this one on Saturday, this one on uh, Sunday, and today is Sunday, so I'm gonna do the second one today as well. And I just wanted you to be able to see how simple it is if you do your preparation in advance. So I'm going to open here and hit paperback because I'm going to start a new paperback and I need to put the book title. So what I have done is prior to that, I got all this information and I'll make it smaller so we can all fit it onto one screen. Okay, I'll make it the same size there. And there you have it. And I'm going to grab the title. So I've already written all this information out. So I'm going to hit prison my 8,344th day, close it out and plug that right here. That's my book title. And I'm gonna grab it again. This is my work that I've done before filming this video to show you every step of the way. My subtitle goes right here. A typical day in an ongoing journey. This is prison, my 8,344th day. A typical day in an ongoing journey. And I published this book in oh, it's about 10 years ago now and I was in my 23rd year of imprisonment. So I'm going to put my second edition there because it's already been published before. I'm just creating all of these to be consistent with a new business that I'm building to offer these products and services to jails and prisons around the country. So I am the author, it's a second edition. There uh, is an, I've written a description. Here is the description of the book. I can grab that right here. Now, as you can see, you have a total of 4,000 characters. I didn't, I'm not going to use that many characters, but I will you know, just tell enough so, th so that a reader will be able to see what the book is about. So I, I only used about half of what I could have written, um, but I have a lot of content on there. So in my case, uh, I think that this is going to be sufficient for them to get a feel for the, for the book. Um, I own the copyright to this book. Now I'm going to get the keywords that I like to use for all of my books. They're all pretty similar. So I'm just going to move them over there. Now I won't have to open it up every time, but it's federal prison. Oh, I don't need a one. So I will take the, I will take the, um, actually I can just type them now that I see them. It's probably easier. Motivation. Next one is success. Next one is Michael Santos as the author, Positive Mindset. All my books are about a positive mindset. Prisoner Reentry. And I think I have one more, don't I? Yes, Personal Development. Personal Development. And so those are the keywords. Categories, yes, I have a category. It is nonfiction. It is self-help. So I generally choose self-help, and then I generally choose motivational and inspirational as well. And I hit save. And then I go on to, it has no adult content here, save and continue. And you see it's saving. So I move on to the next phase. I need to get a KDP, um, uh, an ISBN number, which is the number that, that booksellers can use to, uh, track this information. So I'm going to have to grab that right there and I'm going to put it in my InDesign file. This is the folder that I used to build the book. So there it is. I've already written the book. See, it's all published and formatted already. I did all of that before I started this video, obviously. So a lot of work goes into all this kind of stuff. Um, if you don't know how to use InDesign, you, you, you might want to hire somebody to help you do the formatting because it's, you can see it's rather extensive to, to, to have it all formatted out well. And this book, just you know, for a quick update, is um, part of a bigger book that I have called Earning Freedom. This book shows how people can be very productive through a given day, through a single day. So it actually goes along with my course of, of showing people how to build businesses and so on. Oh, I forgot. So I added, the, I added the ISBN number there at the beginning, you see right there. Next thing I have to do to get ready to advance the Kindle process 
is to export this document as a PDF. So this is the PDF. Um, just to make sure that I don't have another one in there, I am going to put final here so I know which one it is. And it goes in the right folder and I will save it as an Adobe PDF print because this is a paperback book. I will export it and I say OK. And it's going to be exporting right now. And momentarily, I will be able to take a look at this book. It looks good. You're going to see it right here. Um, if I plug it right here, prison my 833 fourth day and the PDF is final. That's the one right there. So if I open this, I end up seeing this is what the book will look like. And I can just, you know, scan through it very quickly. Um, Okay, I can scan through it by putting this, send report to uh, Adobe, um, send this to uh, size 100%. And if I just click through the manuscript, I can get a look of what it's going to look like. So it's all laid out just the way I want it. And it's um, the pictures show up okay. Yes, they do. That's my wife. Uh, I was during a visiting room and calendar shows up okay hand drawn so yeah everything's the way I wanted it laid out so that's fine so I will close this out um, and go to I don't think I need that open um, so this is ready and now it'll say publication date I want it to be published the date the day that they make it live this is black and white interior with cream paper this is not a six by nine book this is a different size so I'm gonna go with five and a half by eight and a half which is right there Five and a half by eight and a half, 13.97 by 21.59 centimeters. That's interesting. That's probably the cover size that I need, but I always just kind of guess on the cover. There's a, there, there, you, they have a template here. I've just always found it easier just to load it and then know that I'm going to have at least one revision and I'll show you how I do that. So right now I am adding, I don't know if you saw that, it's asking me to upload the paperback manuscript. I have to upload it. I'm uploading it in a PDF. Um, that's a different book. So I'm going to go to prison and there's prison 8,344. I'll take the final. That's the PDF I just loaded up and I will hit open. And now that's, that's loading. And this is just a really phenomenal tool that Amazon makes available because I will, I will be able to see everything about this book once I get it loaded in there. And it takes a little time for the computer to work. This, this, the uploading of the manuscript and the uploading of the cover doesn't take too long, but the uploading of the, uh, the, the, the launcher, the preview takes a little time, a little, the launch previewer. Now notice here that Amazon will allow, uh, offers you a tool to make covers for you. I always like to make my own cover. So I'm gonna upload the cover that I made and it is right here in uh, prison cover. It's PDF right there. There's the cover that I made. So I will load that up. And you can see I made that cover right in InDesign. Um, well, it's closed right now. I'm gonna have to open it up again anyway. Um, it crashed just a second ago. So let me open it up, the InDesign folder. This is a very big, big program. Uh, part of the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, which includes Photoshop and Premiere and InDesign and all these phenomenal desktop publishing tools. Um, this is the this is the cover that I built. So, so uh, I, I'm I'm you know I built it through a series of processes. You know, first I had to build the front part. That's the front cover, kind of flat. Then I build it and and merge it with the background. But I know I'm going to have to adjust it. So just showing it to you there. So my cover was uploaded successfully. My manuscript was uploaded successfully. Now I've got to launch the, the, the previewer and that can take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna pause the video for a moment and we will come back when Amazon gets it loaded. Or I actually can leave it up there and I'll just talk you through it. So the reason this is a very important tool is because manuscripts allow us to to create products that that uh, help build our businesses, they help uh, educate consumers, that help entertain consumers. Um, it's definitely uh, you can't really get a business that is more scalable than publishing because you do the work one time and now you create an ecosystem that will allow you to 
uh, distribute the book all over the world. Um, it's just you, your marketing tools are, are really what is going to determine how well you can, uh, let's see, I, you, how well you can you know, distribute your products and services. So like if I go to um, one of my other, the publishing site right here, you'll see how I've been building this business uh, just a couple of days ago with the goal of um, publishing my courses and my books. So these are four books. And I did all of this work just in a couple of days. You know, so there it, it is definitely possible to build a scalable business in a in a work from home climate. If I go to the store here on the top here, you'll see that I've got the four books, um, and this is the one that I'm publishing right now. Person, my eight thousand two hundred forty fourth day. Um, I've also got courses there. So the courses, of course, are much more expensive because they're comprehensive. But my objective is I'll probably have twenty courses on here in six months to a year, and just keep keep building them. You know, keep building this, these, these different products to try and teach and inspire people in prison, just as I'm doing here. But obviously, this is not scalable, right? It's not scalable for me to go into prisons across the country because, it, for one thing, it costs a lot of money to buy travel, um, hotel, rent a car uh, away from my work. You know, I can't really go into a prison for less than a few thousand dollars a day. And that's not so scalable. And even if I could do it every day, you're really looking at a maximum of doing you know, $10,000, $15,000 a week. And you, you can't really build a business on that level of revenues, um, it, particularly if you're going to be out of the, of the workforce because you're, you're, if you're in a prison, you're not developing new content. This is much more scalable. It allows me to create content. Uh, then after I create the content, I can publish it when, in video format, uh, print format, um, audio format, and people can can download it and and I can influence a lot more people. So I've really do spend a lot of time working on print. Now, look here, I, I got the, the book done, uh, print prover, surprise, surprise, it didn't find one error. So the cover size apparently was correct. And um, please check that the information your interior. So print viewer didn't find any issues that will prevent you from submitting your book for publication. So this is the book, Prison My 8,344th Day. That's what it looks like. And then I can just start flipping through the pages if I want and take a look at them. How, do, how are they coming out? And it's just the way that I designed it. So I'm very pleased that it didn't take very long. Generally, I have to go through at least two efforts because I don't spend a lot of time on the... Um, on the cover dimensions. I could get a template, but this has just always been easier for me to try it once and get close, and then it'll give me the parameters that I need. Notice that I have my headers on there. They're all, this is, this. these dotted lines are, are this is the safe zone. If I'm inside of this dotted line, I'm good. Outside of the dotted line, you really never know where the cutter's going to go. So they want you to be in the safe zone, and so I generally give myself a very big margin of uh, three quarters of an inch, um, both inside, outside, and top. And that gives me plenty of room for my header and my footer that, that I like to put on there with page numbers. And I always do branding there as well. So very pleased. So the next step is just go to approve. I will be able to see how much is it going to cost me to print this book. This is um, uh, a pretty good profit margin as well on these products. Um, of course, you, you have to put in hundreds of hours to build them. But once you build them, you know, you can produce the book for $2.70. So save and continue. I'll take that and I will print this at a cost of uh, 270, but I'm selling it for almost 10X that at $25. So, uh, and I will take expanded distributions. So every book um, for somebody, it'll take them, you know, four or five hours to read, um, I'll make $12. So effectively consumers are paying me about $2 an hour for the time that they invest, and probably I probably have several hundred hours in the entire project, writing it, formatting it, publishing it, um, but it's done. And so I can publish the paperback book right there, and I will get a notification from Amazon in a day or so that tells me it is ready. So this is it, prison, my a, a day, a typical day in an ongoing journey, publish, start your ebook now, then I will, uh, yeah, I will turn this into also a Kindle version, but now when I launch this store, you'll see I have four books there that are available. So uh, pretty exciting. This one, interestingly enough, Triumph, I just submitted earlier this morning and it has 
a, I, I, I received a notice already, so I think I have to do something and I don't know what it is. Let's take a look. Let me see if I can find that email from Amazon. And if I find that email from Amazon, I will make the change right now live. So I'll pull that email up. Here's the email from Amazon. Hi, we checked your files and found issues you need to, to fix before your book can be published on KDP. That's Kindle D Digital Publishing. Cover, make sure all text on your front cover is at least 0.375 from the cover's edge. This helps to ensure the text isn't cut during manufacturing. Where possible, we give page numbers with examples. To make sure your entire book meets our guidelines, please review your entire manuscript file and fix all issues. To update the book details, go to your KDP bookshelf. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, we're gonna take a look at this cover and I'm gonna launch the previewer again to see exactly what went wrong. And this was with Triumph, a different book. So I published two books today and that book is here. So it looks like, yeah, I can see it's pretty close um, to the cover. So you're just gonna say that, that's okay. Um, I just wanna, let's just take a look at that cover. But in the, in the interim, I can go to the Triumph uh, title and, and pull it up. So I have that full held in my iCloud account under Resilient Publishing under my prison prof professional courses. And this is Resilient Books. And we're looking at Triumph. So I'm gonna open the Triumph InDesign page and take a look at it. This document contains two links to sources that are missing. Okay, close, that's fine. Um, and it'll open here in just a moment. And when it opens, I hope it'll open in a moment. Did I mess up? Oh. No, I need to find Triumph. File, open recent, 555. Okay, let's see, Triumph, that's one day. Cover one day. In design. What is that titled? Okay, why isn't it opening? Oh, no, that's the in design. I don't want that, I want the cover. Okay. Triumph Images. I guess I didn't save it. Okay, so I didn't save it. I'll have to just, that is the, that's the manuscript and I need the cover. So let's go to Prison's cover. And I might not be saving these covers. There's cover for one day. Okay, I'll take cover for one day. And I can, I can simply name this save, go to Triumph. I'm going to name this in Triumph and call this Triumph cover. Cover Triumph. Thing is, is I don't know the dimensions for Triumph, but that's all right. I modeled this one after Triumph. Oh, look at that. Prison One Day does not have the correct spine. I'm going to have to change that. Um, I'm glad I did this. Okay, so let's just make this, let's make this Triumph. So I'm gonna go, oh shoot, I'm gonna have to go to the, I'm gonna have to go to the back cover, which is, okay, this is gonna take a little more work, but I guess I can show you if you wanna stay on the line, I'm happy to show you. Um, I'm gonna have to do some, a little bit more work here. This is part of the job of being a desktop publisher is, is going in here and on Michael's Mac Pro, modified on Michael's Mac Pro, I've got a lot of computers around here. This is MacBook Pro. No, I need this one. Keep one. Okay, there it is. Okay, I need to go to, I need to go to this cover. Where is Triumph? There's Triumph. Okay, Straight A Guide Conquering Imprisonment. That's looking pretty good, but it may want, we may want to bring that a little bit lower, apparently. So 
let's grab this tool and I'm going to bring this down. So I've got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things going on here. So I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring this down. This is what digital publishing is all about, particularly for a novice like me. Okay, looks good. I'm going to bring that up a little bit too, just in case I am um, I'm too low because it said, as I recall, the message from Amazon was give enough room. So I think I've got enough room now. I've got plenty of room on top, plenty of room on the bottom, um, plenty of room in the middle. Yeah, this should be fine. So we're going to save this flat. I'm going to export this document. And what, first of all, which page is this? This is page number two. So I'm going to export page two. First, I'll save. Save. File. Export. Export to Triumph. And we're going to call this flat cover. Flat cover two. And, and we want it as a JPEG, save. And I only want page number two, export. So now that folder is going to be in uh, Triumph. So now this is uh, a bit more complicated because I um, this is kind of a draft. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make, before I do all of that, I know that I have to change this, this issue here, prison. Prison, my 8,044th day. Okay, so that's pretty tough to read. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that a little closer. Prison, I'm going to put a, and I make my 8,044th day, and I'll get rid of those. Or maybe I won't. Let me take a look at that. Yeah, maybe I won't. I'll keep it all in there. So I just got to make a little more space. There we go. And I'll take a little more space out of here. Even a little more. And then I'll make it a little bigger again so I can see it. Uh, at 75%, there we go. So I make maybe a little bit of space there, a little bit more space here. Move that down about right there, that looks better. Okay, take that down a little bit right there. Okay, that's good looking spine now. And I'm gonna export this one because I'm gonna have to re-upload that into Amazon. So export that. Now this has to be exported as a PDF for a, a cover. So this is cover one day, one day revised. So I know which one it is and it's going to be um, revised Amazon. So I know that this one's for Amazon, save. And that's getting exported right now as a PDF. There it is, great. And now we're gonna go back to uh, Triumph. And so we're going to save it now as save triumph. And we'll save that in triumph. Let's save it there. Replace. Okay, I'm going to take this right here. And I'm going to see this is just, oh, let me just show you what that is. See, this is a flat image. Okay. Notice this is the back cover. This is the front cover. Okay. So I'm going to take this and throw that out and I'm gonna replace it with what I just made, the flat image, cover two, replace that there, plug it right there, and it should fit nicely in there. It's a little bit short, so I'm gonna make it a little bigger, and then I can fill it in like that. And now I have Triumph, but with a lot of room, okay? A lot of room in the document itself, which is what I needed for Amazon. But I remember, let's not forget, Oh shoot, I'm gonna to have to change the back cover here because I've got, now this is the text for prison. Right? So a little bit more complicated than I expected to do, but not a big deal. Triumph, T-R-I, 
T R. Okay, I gotta go bigger again because my eyes aren't that good. So I'm gonna blow that up to 125%, and we'll call that invalid metric. Okay. Oh. Okay. So now we go back there. Choose the type tool. T R I U M P H exclamation point. Straight A guide. Good. Good enough. That looks okay. But let's see the text that I had in there previously. And because I got to have the right text. So I think I do have a previous cover there. Triumph Kindle flat cover, flat cover PDF. Yeah, that would be it right there. So this is the old cover that I had. I just made it a little bit smaller. So now I've got to make sure I've got the right back copy in there. So it says while serving. And then I'll, I've got to choose the text tool. Um, I'm going to have to make this a little smaller. A lot smaller, actually. And then I'll move this over so I can see where I'm working. I'm working here. I don't need this open. And now I can see what was there before. So this is, I could, pro no, I can't copy and paste. In Triumph, Triumph, the straight A guide, straight A guide, Michael describes, so I'm going to just take this out, Michael describes how decisions he made while serving 9,500 days influenced influenced his successful return to society and then we go here michael began teaching as an adjunct professor I mean teaching as an adjunct professor at san francisco state university within three weeks of his release Simultaneously began creating products and services that would improve outcomes for others who experience the criminal justice system. He embodies the concept of overcoming struggle and earning freedom. The straight A guy teaches strategies to conquer and prison, prepare for success, apartments, get a positive mindset, and succeed. Okay. So there you have Triumph, the straight A guide. We are going to save that as Triumph, yes. And now we're going to export this as a PDF to reload into the Amazon platform. Go to Sabre cover triumph to Amazon and we'll try that save export okay so now we should have two new covers in there close all tabs we should have two new covers in there so we're going to go back to triumph and we are going to exit see that's the problem you see how close that is that's very close oh and look at the a shoot I don't think I made the A smaller. So I'm going to do this again because I don't think I made the A smaller. So I'm going to go back here before I print this out and just make this smaller. Now I can see the problem. That's the beauty of this Kindle service. See, it's, it's showing me what I need to do to be so it covers. But see, that's outside of the safe zone as I was talking before. So let's go ahead and let me move this out of the way. Let me just make that, minimize that. And I will take this T. Oh, that means I'm gonna have to go back into this section. This is, these are the complicated parts that I told you about. So I'm gonna need to make this smaller. And right now it's a 55 point. Let's make it a 48 point. And let's actually not only make it 48 point, but let's bring the letters a little bit closer together, which I can do with this tool right here. Like that. Actually, I can now, I could probably make it 55. 55. I don't mind it being 55, but I have to make it smaller. So now everything's inside here. I'm going to make this even inside. Um, let's make that also 55 or, or just let's bring it much closer together. So we're going to bring these closer together. We're going to get those away from the edge. And this is away from the edge. That's good. 
Okay, now we're looking good. Now we'll have no problem with it. I wonder if I can do these a little smaller. Let's go these. Great. Okay, it's kind of a narrow book anyway. So we'll save this as the one that we want to use. So export this as a PDF. Oh no, this has to be a JPEG. So that gets to be made as a JPEG. Save in Triumph. And this is going to be Triumph flat final. And now I know what it is. Export. Oh, I think that was, I hope that was export. Was that page two? Yeah, it's page two. Okay, great. So now we go back to the cover of Triumph. I take this one. Let's make it so that you can see it all. Make it 100%. Okay. And I'm going to take this one that I told you. Remember, I told you it was just a an image. I'm going to remove that one. And I'm going to replace it with a new one. The flat cover two, which is, or flat cover final, which is right there. You see how much narrower it is? Way more narrow. So we're going to take this one. Triumph, straight A guide. Boom. Great. And we'll plug it in right about there. Ooh, I don't like that. There we go. Nice. Okay. There's Triumph, the straight A guide. Let's just make it a little bigger right there so it fits. And then I can do a fit to screen, fit to frame. And now it's going to work fine. So we will file export this as a PDF. Yes, PDF, cover triumph, final, narrow. So I know which one it is, save and export, and it's good to go. And now we go back to our uh, InDesign folder, which was stored somewhere on my screen. Um, let's just open Chrome. There it is, Chrome. And so now I'm gonna fix it. So it has no more problems by exiting the printer preview. And I'm gonna reload the cover, upload your cover. And I'm gonna upload the Triumph cover. And I'm gonna go to cover, travel, Amazon, narrow, final. That's the one that I just did. It's 1202, that's right now, open and it's gonna be uploading. And this is gonna be simple, but if you wanna stick around to see what it'll look like in final, this video is gonna stretch a little bit longer because as I said, although it loads the cover rather quickly, it takes a little while for the launch previewer to get going. Hmm. I don't know, does that look like the right cover? That doesn't look like the right cover. Did I rule the right cover? Yeah, cover, triumph, final, Yeah, I will, that's that one. Open. I want to open that. That's the cover I want. Just make sure because it didn't look right. Oh, I know why. Because it takes a little while to render. I forgot. Shoot. So I'm wasting time. Sorry about that. No, your time is valuable. But you're going to see how this whole process works. That's why it takes so much time to do this. Now I can launch the previewer. Continue. And by continuing, now we wait. We wait for a little while. Preparing your files. Generally takes a I think about five minutes or so for this process to, to go. So what could I show you during those five minutes? I guess I could show you all the different tools that we have to use and I could be looking at things so I'm not wasting time because I hate to be wasting time. And I want to take a look at what's going on on YouTube right now. As I recall, I had some uh, engagement where we have 52 videos load it up um mm. so there's my latest video was yesterday's blog entry and that was day number 20. so i've got to start a new execution cycle today and uh, i've been building this youtube channel playing with different uh thumbnail sketches that's these numbers here and where you see the black that's that's a day that's my daily execution cycle of how i work um, I also have a Libsyn channel where I host our podcast. So I got a lot of work still to do today on a Sunday, but this is all part of the journey of building a digital business. I like to come over here and look periodically and see how we're doing. So we've had a hun roughly 100 downloads at 12 noon California time. 
and just building this up. You know, that's the process of building a business. I like you to see previously published. See, I've been publishing every day, every day, new videos, every day, new new audio files. And all of that is goes into one of the things I create called the content schedule. Um, see, this is still going in Kindle. And this content schedule goes right here. Uh, drive. I, and I record. Oh, I can't do all that. It takes too long. So anyway, we're all, we should be almost there at, at uh, checking margins and gutter size. And we are about there to find out if Triumph is going to be finished. Um, but I'm sure it will be because I, I made it really narrow this time. So I hope that you're interested in publishing your stories. I've been publishing for a long time. There, I, it really got me through my journey in prison and helped me build a lot of businesses that I find to be very effective for particularly during this use work from home pandemic. I've got a lot of equipment like, well, like this nice microphone and uh, computer equipment and software tools that are really my capital equipment that allow me to build businesses out of just nothing but what's inside of my head and the work that I do in interviewing people and, and sharing. And I like to do that as much as I can because I think it's important to help people who are living in difficult times uh, feel better. Now look at that. See, nice, narrow, straight A guide, no problem. We will approve and resubmit and this will be fine. Ah, but I did have to do something else as I recall. Uh, so let's just continue this here. Upload your cover, that's all done. Save and continue. And I'd previously gone through this process with Triumph, so this will quickly be added. Um, but I do want to upload uh, a new cover for one day because I, as you recall, I forgot to plug the, 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 change the spine. So this is done. Let's go ahead and change the spine on one day. Um, so I'm going to take one day and how do I edit this? Can I edit this? I guess I have to wait. I have to wait until they approve it. Then I can go back and edit it again. Um, but awesome. So all these will be done and ready to order. So wishing you a successful journey in digital publishing. I am Michael Santos with uh, so, well, a whole series of things, but Prison Professors is where you can find this current work that we're doing. Thank you.